Hey guys, very tired 3am Tarka Cat here. I was visited in the night by Chris Wilson. Personally, he came into my bedroom um, and he was like, mate, you should play Corsica. And I'm like, what? And then uh, I, I started thinking about it. Um, basically, I woke, you know when you wake up and you're just like thinking about a build? I basically just woke up thinking about a build. So I have a um, Brutal Restraint and I've been like spam divining it. This is the Maraketh Jewel. And in this part of the skill tree, um, you can convert Perfect to Agony. And I'll get to explain why that's good in a bit. So Wind Dancer gives like the Kintsugi effect. So 10% less damage taken if you haven't been hit recently. Because this isn't Kintsugi though, this means that you can stack it with Kintsugi. Um, so that would be 40% less damage taken if you haven't been hit recently. So Flesh and Stone gives 11%. So you then have 51% reduced, uh, sorry, 51% less, there's a difference between less and reduced. You have 51% less damage taken if you haven't been hit recently. And then there's a whole bunch of reduced damage taken you can stack on Trickster. And Trickster's like my favorite ascendancy. And someone in my Twitch chat today said Caustacaro. So basically, I was in bed, like, thinking about Caustacaro. So I've come up with a path of building. And I think this is going to be, like, really fucking cool. So... You get the 51% less damage taken. Uh, Flesh and Stone blinds enemies. So you then also get 5% reduced damage taken from blinded enemies here. You have Ghost Shrouds, which give you 9% when they're up. They won't always be up. But, you know, let's say that... Let's say you have two charges on average. With the amount of evasion I'm going for, the fact it's a range build, um, I can run Aspects of the Spider, Slows at enemies, Acro Phase, Acro, all that stuff. Let's just say we have two charges up. Um, so that would be 6%, so that's 11%. If I've spent mana recently, I'd sometimes gain another 6, so that's 12. Um, and then if you, you know, do Uber Elder, for example, a lot of endgame bosses do, like, these scary degens. Oh, you've also got reduced damage taken over time. And then the Soul of Arakali for another 5%. Basically, you get a whole bunch of, uh, reduced and less damage taken. And they just scale really well. There is, like, diminishing returns and stuff. If someone who's good at maths would like to do, like, a TLDR in the YouTube section, I'll pin it on what the actual, like, total reduction would be with 51% less damage taken. And then all the... It, it would add up to 51% less damage taken, 20% reduced against hits, and then an additional 15% reduced against dots... And then, um, if it was a physical hit, you'd also add on the 15% from a Basalt Flask. And if you decided to use Aspect of the Crab instead of Aspect of the Spider, that'd be an additional 20% on top of that. So if someone likes to do the maths on that, that'd be great. So basically, you get a whole bunch of mitigation, and you're like, okay, well, that sounds, that sounds pretty good. What else has the build got going for it? So with no Vile skills up, you have 50% um, attack and 51% spell dodge. Very respectable. With Val Grace up, you're capped on both. Um, this build has a whole bunch of skill effect duration. Um, since it gets skill effect duration from Prolonged Pain, um, it gains skill effect duration from this really powerful new cluster called Hunter's Gambit. And then it gets this skill effect duration cluster on the uh, tree here. Um, you'll notice this is a very high level build, level 96 tree. Um, there are some nodes you can cut, which are kind of fluffy. Um, I really like Arcane Chemistry. It gives additional two uses of my uh, Life Flask, and additional one use of my Utility Flask, but you could drop those two points. Um, you don't have to take Survivalist, the extra one Max Calder is, but I would like to take it, so that's another two points cut down. So level 92. Um, and then the hardcore player in me from all those leagues goes still kind of yelling in the back of my brain. Um, you could drop this, and I'm sure there's some fucking weird people who would do this. And now you're, you know, looking at Resect to level 85 tree. Um, I would recommend not doing those changes, but those are all things that you could do to the build if you wanted to. Um, and uh, then you would go for the normal show start. Again, I, I've reached out this so just to save some points. So, uh, what are you using in this tree and how realistic uh, are these numbers? Um, so we're looking at 870k Shaper Damage. Um, that's not using perfectly min-max gear. It's not using a 7-link bow. Um, it's missing chaos damage on rings. I have put chaos damage on the belt. And I have put non-ailment on gloves and ammo. Uh, this doesn't have a increased malevolence effect watch's eye, which would be a very big DPS boost. 
Um, because that's, I think it's like an extra 30% non-ailment multi on the Malevolence Watches either. We, I don't have one, so I haven't included it. Uh, using level 21 Corsa Caro, uh, 20 Vicious Proj, Swift Affliction, Void Manipulation, level 4 on power, you could bump that down to level 3. Getting a level 4 on power isn't that difficult, but, you know, we'll, we'll put it down for the people who don't have it. Um, and then damage on full life. Now, a lot of people run Conk Effects on their Corsa Caros. I really don't like that. I personally really don't like it, but you could run that instead of damage on full life if you want to do I would much rather use damage on full life. Uh, with the amount of evasion I'm going for, the acro, the phase acro, um, pretty decent life sustain since it's a trickster. Um, loads of use of the life flask as well. Um, the just natural regen and the regen on kill. You should nearly always be on full life, so that's a very safe one to go for in my opinion. Uh, this is where the timer shield goes. Converts that node into, again, um, Wind Dancer. So that's why we take this routing. Uh, this also hits uh, one, two, three, four, five notables. And you have access to a two-point notable if it's decent. Um, things that you can get on the um, Maraketh Jewel. You can get 4% life. So that's 20% life. You can get 8% flask effects. So that would be 40% flask effect. You can gain Flask Charges gained. And I believe you can also gain Flask Charge Duration, but I haven't seen it personally. Um, there's also Projectile Damage, which does scale Corsa Caro. Um, so yeah, you can gain Damage, you can gain Life, and you can gain Flask stuff. All of those are really good. You can also get um, Aura Effect, which is what my one gives. So my one gives Percent Dex. Um, it gives Flat Dex. 4% uh, Life. And then here it's giving 6% um, aura effect, and here it's giving 10% aura effect. I would like one which was either just a bunch of life, a bunch of projectile damage, but basically flask stuff. Flask stuff is broken. Uh, flask stuff is really good. Um, for Bandito, since people ask about Banditos, you would take two passive points. If you're like, okay, but Taki, this is just a path of building. Is this actually a decent build? I played like four course to carry builds in Syndicate. Um, and loved it. One of my favorite, like, builds of all time. That was before the introduction of Malevolence, um, and that was also before we saw some, uh, the buffs to Shadow Start. It was before we saw the buffs to Trickster, um, and it was also before we saw a bunch of new nodes added to this part of the skill tree, and since then, they've also added a bunch of new mods that you can get on gear. So it's like, yeah, it, it would be pretty good. Um, you could also run a Toxic Rain alongside the Corsica if you wanted to. Um, if you didn't want to play Trickster, ugh. Um, but other pretty good options um, using this skill tree. Obviously, you could do a Cultist, but then it completely fucks up the build. Um, you could very happily play uh, Pathfinder, Deadeye, or even Raider. There was a very good um, Raider... Um, guide on the forums a couple of leagues ago. I don't know if it's still updated. Um, but he explained his reasoning. So because of that, you still see quite a lot of people doing Raider CA. Personally, Trix is too good not to do it, in my opinion. Um, also, a reason as to why I'm not going Escape Artist, like why I'm not doing the whole hybrid thing. So this uh, Wind Dancer gives 40% less evasion rating if you haven't been hit recently. Um, so what does that actually look like in-game? So I've created a, like a duplicate of my current Timeless Jewel. Um, so you can see that with the... Um, have you been hit recently? We go from 21k evasion to then 45k. Um, the Jewel obviously reduces my evasion rating. So without the Jewel, I have 34k all the time. With the Jewel, um, we do jump all the way down to 21k. So if you were a hybrid build, that would really hurt your sustain. Because the whole point is you want to do hybrid ghost stance. You get hit and you gain a shit ton of ES. So you don't want to be playing hybrid for that because there's negative synergy. Also, because we're going all in, like running Kintsugi itself, going Wind Dancer. Um, we want to go all in on not getting hit often. So Acro Phase Acro really supports that playstyle. Um, also, another reason why I know this is definitely a blessed build is... When I woke up and was like, I need to plan this out, and I jumped in game, I got a... I would master mod it, but I just did this now. Uh, we got a 
a nulled down bow's um, fire additional arrow in something like a hundred ults. Um, we got it just by itself. We regaled a null, hit the regal. So it was like a hundred ults, one a null. We hit it. I was like, okay, that's pretty good. Um, I crafted a six link in less than seventy fuse. Um, the way I did that is I just got a base elder bow. Um, it's important that you don't get over I level eighty four because then you start getting extra mods. Um, I then used a perfect fossil to get it to thirty percent quality. I then crafted increased quality on it. Um, I didn't do like insane multi one increased quality. I just put eighteen percent increased quality on it. Um, then six altered it, and then six linked it in like some diffusers. And then I was using um, corroded metallic and prismatic fossils. Um, what that does is it blocks all the prefixes other than plus level of socketed gems, plus two, well, plus one or plus two level of socketed bow gems. And I got this on the third try. If I had more fossils and I had more resonators, I would then keep going and keep trying to hit uh, vicious projectiles, which is impossible uh, mod you can get from Elder. So I have a seven link bow. Um, alternatively, you could try and go for um, the really insane, like, plus four, plus five level uh, bows that you see, um, which have plus one strength gems uh, for the plus one in power, plus one dex gems, all of that crazy stuff. But this is just a fine base starter bow. But still very lucky that I hit it so quickly. Um, I regaled this. Like, I didn't do any annulling or anything. Um... We had the life, I had the attack and car speed, and I'm pretty sure I regaled the non-ailment. I either regaled the non-ailment or I regaled the attack and car speed. I can't remember which, because I went through a few alterations of this. And I hit this, and I think 200 ults. So yeah, Chris definitely wants me to play this build. He's sneaking into my room at night, whispering Corsicario whispers into my ears. And he's even that blessed RNG. So um, I did actually make an Earthquake character. But I'm not sure what's going to happen to it. <laughs> but I did make it. Um, I know you can't roll the Vicious Prodge with the Fossils. Um, that's one you you have to roll manually. But again, I wasn't planning on going for that. I was just planning on going for a decent starter. But yeah, I wasn't too clear. But anyway, so yes. I will leave a p uh, path of building down below. If you are at all curious, in my previous uh, Course Scarlet Adventures... I have multiple videos. I think I've got like 10 videos um, from 3.5 on my channel um, covering everything. And I did that in SSF, I believe. Was that SSF or was that Private League? I can't remember which. I think it might have been... I can't remember. But yeah, basically I've done a bunch of stuff with it. So you can see like proof of the build there. And it's just gotten a whole bunch better. But yes, I'm Taki. I'm tired. I'm going back to bed. Have a good day. Bye-bye.